On a Stick by Ben Talon. Sometimes weird kids would cross the river and come pester us on the mill yard. Usually older, always up to no good, bored and left to fend for themselves by parents otherwise occupied in the school holidays. If it wasn't to nick our football and punt it into the water, it was some other unwanted clownery. This one came alone after I'd spent an hour twatting the ball against a wall on my own. He had a disconcertingly straight fringe and missing teeth. There was always idle chat to begin proceedings. That was designed to disarm. What's your name? Do you know Billy Shepherd? What about Danny Atherton? Can I have a kick? Got any fags? Then it always turned. You could see it coming. Clouds knocked out the sun. A chilly breeze made the trees dance and the question stopped. The tension swelled. Amanda had left to go into town with her mum. It was better if you had company, but no cavalry came. It was a bit too close. They always did. This one bent down and picked up a long, thin, bendy stick. The kind you would only fold if you tried to snap it. With it, he began prodding at a used condom, flicking it all over like a collapsed pancake. That was enough for me. A big red flag. I wasn't wrong. He got the end inside, upped it on the end of the stick, and in a flash I snatched up the ball and scrambled away, ball legged in panic, past a giant blue wooden mill doors and railings, tiny stones rolling under my trainers, providing a scuba doo comedy tint to my genuine fear, as his freckled cheeks stretched in a baleful grin. Where are you off? Fucking come here! Anything on a stick meant bad news. He gave chase, but only for a few yards. He tried to launch it after me, but it wouldn't fly. I just kept going, glancing back over my shoulder until I was out of breath. They'd usually return me back up to all the kids in tracksuits with deeper voices. You know the ones. The ones that had always claimed that they'd ever had a shag. 